Welcome everyone. This is the Craft Palace. I'm waiting for Ikea furniture and a few things from Walmart and Amazon. While we were on vacation, I did a lot of research on craft furniture. I was able to research Amazon, solder. They do have a craft line of furniture. Then they also make a line for Better Homes and Gardens through Walmart. It's identical. I even called Sauter and asked them what, what was the deal because there's a different price point for sure. And Home Depot, they have a brand called Home Visions. They have a brand that is called um, Style Well. And they also had another brand that was called Bradstone. All in all, I researched probably seven or eight different types of furniture. And what I came up with was the style well from Home Depot. The reason is because they offered a nice selection of furniture at a pretty reasonable price. And it was on sale at the time for probably 25% off. And of course, free shipping directly to my home, which was great. Well, I had it shipped to my husband's shop because we were still in the motor home. But anyway, it was shipped for free. So once we got into the house, and we started getting our other boxes and everything open. I got a little excited and thought I'd come in and open up a couple of the drawer units that I bought through Home Depot. Well, sadly, I opened up all six drawer units that I had purchased. Two were actually damaged inside a perfect box. That means they were damaged before they were packaged. A third, the front drawer fell off of it. I just was like beside myself. And then I decided I would open up the top drawer and pull out the casters to decide if I was gonna use those or not. And I'm not kidding you, the drawers came open about so far. The drawer box is actually this big. Now these were supposed to be a full extension glide. A full extension glide on a set of drawers is when you pull that drawer open, you can actually pull it out all the way. So you see the entire box of the drawer. So there is no hidden space inside and you're able to reach everything. And one of my reasons for wanting that and not wanting to purchase the Alex drawers was because if I was putting things like glitter in there, um, embossing uh, powders, um, my ink pads, anything like that, you're losing a lot of space in the back. And the drawers that I had purchased were terrible. I was very disappointed. And the bad thing is you don't have the ability to be able to go see this stuff. All of that furniture had to go back. I called Home Depot. They're like, oh sure, bring it into the store. I said, no, it's not happening. I have a hutch top, a gift wrap station, a drawer, a file drawer unit, and six of these drawer sets. And I and I can't take them back upstairs and I couldn't possibly get them all in my car. You need to come get them. Believe it or not, they did. So back to square one I was. So I did a lot more research and decided to go ahead and try the solder brand. So I have um, a hutch top, a hutch. Um, I decided to buy one piece at a time of each type to make sure that I liked it. So hutch top, the hutch bottom, I have one craft desk coming and, oh, an organizer that goes on top of the hutch base. And then there is a set of like bookshelves, a short set that has got shelves on it that are all uh, adjustable. So I have those pieces that should be here this week. And tomorrow my Ikea furniture gets delivered. Now what I bought was the five by five Calyx unit. Using, it's kind of like creating another room. Well, I want my Calyx unit to cover that. Now it won't cover it all the way and I'll figure out a way to be able to do that. But a five by five Calyx unit is what I purchased. Then I purchased a two by four Calyx unit and then another one that had two doors on it. So I purchased two of those and then I purchased a couple of the uh, doors and little shelves that go into the Calyx unit. That's what's happening tomorrow. Uh, sometime between nine and one on Sunday, uh, they will be delivering. 
and I chose what they call a home in-home delivery. They will bring it to one particular room in my house. <laughs> Little do they know they're coming down into a basement. So anyway, we'll see how that works. Tomorrow, I'll show you <laughs> my big pile of Ikea boxes and we'll get those separated and we'll get things put together so that we can start having some fun. I'll see you tomorrow. Guess what came this morning? I have 30 pieces that need to be put together. Now I know that sounds like a lot, but 15 of them are the shelf that goes into the Ikea drawer and a door. So there's 15 pieces of those and we'll put those together later. But we are going to start with the big Calyx unit so that I can start getting some things organized. Here we go. Okay, we are going to try to get some of this actually organized and put away today. I ordered these storage boxes, come four to a set or two to a set uh, from Amazon the other day. And then I also ordered, I'll show it to you later, uh, file boxes that will also fit into the cubes, which will hold my scrap paper and it'll also hold my scrap vinyl. So. I can still keep it organized and keep it close to all the paper. Now, I have made a change in how I am putting everything together. And that is because, let me grab this, I want to make sure that that back section, my little storage room, is covered. Now, up here I'm not too worried about. Um, I may end up putting a sheet behind there or else hanging something to block that whole uh, section. But I am going to order one four by three calyx and it'll go right there, which meant everything got moved around a little bit. So what I'm starting with here is paint. And then I'm gonna go to my stamps, wood stamps, acrylic stamps, glitter, ink pads, um, ink sprays, all that kind of stuff. And we'll start getting this put together. And hopefully we have a bunch of it finished before the new furniture comes. So hang in there with me and I'm gonna do this in time lapse for you.
told you that I had found these file boxes on Amazon. And I'm gonna take my scrap files, my paper scrap files, and I'm gonna put those in here. Um, they've got a nice plastic edge that you just put on after you put it together. And you put it together just like a cube box. It comes apart, it'll lay down flat so you can store it. And it also has a lid on it, which I'm not gonna use because I'll be using this often. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my scraps in here. And I'll I bought this gorgeous mural that I think will just make this room look so great on Amazon a couple of weeks ago. And I'm just kind of tired of boxes right now. And because I'm waiting for those extra pieces of furniture, I'm kind of at a standstill right now. So I tried to clean up my mess as best I can. And I've moved everything away from the wall where it's gonna be. And it's gonna be on this wall here. So I'm gonna do a time lapse. I got one of the pieces uh, to my solder hutch today and it's called an organizer and just dragged it down here into the palace and we're gonna start putting it together. I believe how hot it is down here. It's not hot, it's just me moving things around. So yesterday, this solder shelving unit showed up. So we're gonna put this one together as well.
So here's the update on the Craft Palace. We're going to have some fun.